Hello Horizon Kids! You know what? We have another really cool topic that we're all gonna do together on our computers and our TVs. And we are gonna talk about one of the coolest topics of the whole Bible. And we talked about how Jesus died, but then he rose again. And that was one of the most powerful things that happened in the entire Bible, because it meant that we can be friends with Jesus. And so after that, what happened was, is Jesus, he died and then he rose again and then he appeared to the disciples and he was like I'm alive and the disciples were like what and then after that he said you know what I have to go home to heaven to be with my father but I'm going to do something really cool I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit and when the Holy Spirit comes he's going to come and be inside of you and as you live your life with the Holy Spirit you're going to be able to do incredible things so Jesus did that for us but now we have to learn about how we can make that a part of our lives because do you know what? It is worth it. It is amazing. It is powerful. And when the disciples got filled with the Holy Spirit, incredible things happened. They were able to do things they were never able to do ever before. It's kind of like this. I've just got all the lights over here. And I know so many of you love Star Wars. I really love Star Wars too. But you know what? This is kind of like our life with God. How? Uh, I'll tell you. So, God has given us a life. This is our life. And we walk around and we kind of like, all right, I'm doing life, I'm going to school, when we can go to school. And we go to the shops and we go to bed at night and we play with our friends and we play at home and we hang out with our family. And you know, there's all different situations that we get scared, we get lonely, we get upset, and we think that sometimes we don't have enough strength or we don't have enough courage or we get scared and we don't really know what to do, we get confused. And do you know what? Do you know why that is? It's because there is something missing. This is not really keeping me very strong. It's not keeping me very brave. It's kind of just a stick I'm holding in my hand. But then once we discover the next level, we discover something so powerful, that thing that is missing and that is Jesus. <gasps> we find that all of a sudden we have this new power in our lives. We find that Jesus keeps us stronger and braver and it's like I'm not alone anymore I've got Jesus with me and I don't have to be scared of going to school and I don't have to be going to scared of be scared of going to the shops because I'm protected and Jesus is my healer and he looks after me and he protects me and I'm strong and when I go to sleep at night I can be brave I can go sleep with the light off and God wants to look after me. I, I feel good, I feel power, I feel strength in my life and I feel love in my heart and I feel joy and peace and all good things. And Jesus is here and he, he looks after us and he gets to be our friend. But you know what? There is still something missing. And that thing that is missing is more power, power on the inside. And you know, that's what the Holy Spirit is for us. It's this power that we can use in our lives to make us stronger and braver and we can do things that we never thought we could do before. And so it's like, we just have to invite the power inside of us. We have to find the power and we have to say, Holy Spirit, come and fill my life. And it's like putting batteries in this. I just put batteries in this a couple of seconds ago and put batteries in and then I've got to turn it on. I'm going to say, please Holy Spirit, come and fill my life. And then all of a sudden, Whoa! It's like this power comes into my life and all of a sudden I feel stronger and I feel braver and I feel like I can talk to my friends about Jesus because I feel like I've got courage I've never had before. And I feel like when I go to sleep at night, I'm not just brave, I'm like believing that I'm gonna have good dreams and that God is gonna speak to me. When I do my schoolwork, I can just focus so much better and I feel happier and I don't even know why I feel happier. I've just got joy in my heart, but you know what? I feel like it's not coming from me. I feel like there's something bubbling on the inside of me and that, that the Holy Spirit is powerful. When I read my Bible, oh my, oh my goodness, I'm like learning new things and it's making sense to me that I never could make sense before. And now all of a sudden I'm not even getting angry at my brother and sister anymore because it's like 
God's given me this peace and this strength and now I just gotta love them instead of getting angry and I'm just bolder and like all of a sudden I'm thinking about things I've never thought before because the Holy Spirit is on the side inside of me and you know what this power is incredible and I believe you know we believe as we read the Bible we know from from learning about the life of Peter that it changes you. It makes you be able to do things that you never thought you could ever do before. And you know, Peter was this man who, he was in the Bible and he was around with Jesus when Jesus was on earth. And as Jesus walked around, there were so many times where he had to say to Peter, Peter, stop talking, you're being silly. Do you know there's, cause he just said the things he was thinking and just thinking like a normal human being, like we all say and do silly things. But you know what? He was a little bit silly. He was also a little bit scared. So when he walked on water, because Jesus asked him, come out and walk on water, he lasted just for a few seconds because all of a sudden he got really scared and he started sinking. But you know what? It's because he didn't have that power inside of him yet. And so Jesus saved him, but you know what? He was scared. And there was other times when he was really scared because he was scared that people would hurt him and that he was going to be in danger. And so when the people asked him, do you know Jesus, just as Jesus was about to die, he's like, you know what, if I say that I do know Jesus, they might hurt me too. And so he said, no, I don't know Jesus. And he lied and he, he wasn't able to say that he knew Jesus. And you know, that's because it was before he had the Holy Spirit. He was just a normal guy, an ordinary man, just a normal human being like all of us. We get scared, we say silly things, we do silly things, we disobey our parents, we fight with our brother and sister and all these things that happen. But that's before the Holy Spirit is inside of us. Because you know, when the Holy Spirit filled Peter's life, after Jesus went to heaven and said, I will send you the Holy Spirit, he had the Holy Spirit fill his whole body. He had the fire in his head like everyone else. But then, as he started to speak to people, he found this new boldness. And you know what? When he said silly things and Jesus had to be like, be quiet, Peter, before he had the Holy Spirit, after the Holy Spirit, he spoke to thousands and thousands and thousands of people about what Jesus did. And they all believed him and they believed in Jesus and they got saved and became friends with Jesus. All because Peter had the Holy Spirit inside of him working and doing incredible things. And you know what? That's what the Holy Spirit does to us. And that's what Jesus has said, that if you invite the Holy Spirit into your life, that it can fill you with power and incredible things happen. And so we're going to go and we're going to read the Bible story of how the Holy Spirit came in Acts chapter 2. Or you can watch the video of how the Holy Spirit came and you can learn a little bit more about that. And then you can get your mum and dad and we're going to answer some questions about this story. And we can learn more about how the Holy Spirit can come and fill our life. And you can even say a prayer to invite the Holy Spirit to come into your life. How's that? All right. So go and watch the video and I'll be back in a second.